Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be making a creamy Louisiana chicken pasta inspired by the Cheesecake Factory version. It's one of my favorite things to get at the Cheesecake Factory, so I decided to make it vegan. Here I have two cups of soaked raw cashews that I'm going to pour into a blender. And I'm also going to add one and a half cups of water and one clove of garlic. Now I'm adding a little oil to a skillet and I'm adding one yellow pepper, one red pepper, and a small medium yellow onion. And I'm seasoning it with some sea salt and black pepper. And once the peppers and onions are done cooking, I remove them from the pan and add an eight ounce pack of mushrooms. I'm also seasoning this with sea salt and pepper. After that, I boiled my bow tie noodles. I just added a little bit of salt to the water. And then I prepared the vegan chicken. This is the vegan chicken that I used by Gardein. For the first bowl, I added a half cup of cornstarch. And I also seasoned it with some sea salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. For the second bowl, I added some vegan mayonnaise, about a half cup. You can also use unsweetened plain yogurt. And for the third bowl, I added a half cup of panko breadcrumbs. I seasoned it with sea salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and two tablespoons of vegan Parmesan cheese. This is the vegan chicken. I'm gonna coat it in the cornstarch first. Then the mayo. I realized that it helps to use a butter knife to spread it on. It's just easier. And then I dipped it in the panko breadcrumb mixture. Next I baked it at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes and I flipped it halfway through and I just waited until it turned golden brown. While that's cooking I prepared the sauce. I put the peppers and onions back in the pan with the mushrooms and I'm pouring the cashew cream over it. I'm adding two teaspoons of this Cajun seasoning but I recommend just adding one teaspoon to see how you like it because it is a little spicy and salty which is why I didn't add a lot of salt in the beginning when I'm seasoning the vegetables because this has enough sodium in it already and I'm adding two tablespoons of basil oil this is optional I'm just adding some dairy free heavy cream because I had some left over I'm adding about a half cup but you really don't need this at all Now before I added the pasta, I took some sauce out just so I could have some for later. I wasn't planning on eating all of this pasta right now. So I added the bow tie noodles. And now I'm adding some of the vegan Parmesan cheese again. I'm adding some minced garlic, about one teaspoon, and I'm sprinkling some black pepper and some sea salt. It smells so good. Just look at that. Can we just look at this chicken? Look at the texture of this. It's just like meat. I just love creamy pasta. It's like my favorite thing. You can use like heavy cream if you don't like cashews. You can't taste the cashews, but like if you're allergic to it, 
Can use heavy cream. They have vegan heavy cream now. Mm -mm. I think this tastes pretty darn close to the Louisiana chicken pasta. Has similar flavors. Mm. And that cashew cream sauce is very versatile. You can make an Alfredo sauce with that. You can make mac and cheese with that. Just add some vegan cheddar. I love this this vegan chicken. It comes in handy. Mm. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. If you make this recipe, you can tag me at Nanum to Fitness on Twitter and on Instagram. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.